Today's Everyday Carry Collection, aka EDC, is Carl Conrad's favorite color, a healthy source of vitamin C, and widely considered to be the new black. Orange. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Just kidding, you obviously have to peel it first. So, let's fuck out. <coughs> Now I do admit, this was originally planned for the Google Pixel 4 release and their new Oso Orange colorway, but I've procrastinated until now, but oh boy is this hot fire. Or should I say hot oranges. Wait, no, that's not a thing. So to start things off, an official accessory from Nike, this is the reversible webbed belt with the iconic just do it catchphrase. The matte black hardware is my favorite piece, but pairs really well with the light orange giving it that construction pylon vibe. But overall, it's tough, will make you stand out like a sore thumb, but it's Nike. Thank you, baby. Now the belt accessories don't end there though because I've got this hang on to a loop. The UAG hard case for AirPods Pro paired with the bright orange Night Eyes S Beaner with their micro lock. An excessive case that even adds an extra step to access your overpriced earphones, but for those who think their electronics have feelings, this can't be a beat. It's got an exterior finish that's tougher than your ego and an actual button to push, although it is sort of hard to push and requires the other hand to sort of pop it off. But once inside, well, that's it. You get to use your AirPods Pro. Congratulations. Now what you're paying for though is this rubber orange liner that cuddles your AirPods and keeps dust and water away. Combine that with the outer shell so it can handle this. Thankfully, it won't always have to protect your AirPods when you have these added on. These mini S Beaner carabiners from Night Eyes with an added mini lock to ensure nothing slips off by accident. It's made of some sort of metal and it ain't unclipping unless you really want it to. Don't worry though, the case itself does come with its own carabiner and the matte black metallic finish is quite nice. But this video is about orange and they make a much better combo together anyway. Anyways, the silicone sleeve ensures your AirPods stay in place and the lightning port cover is still easily accessible while also protecting your AirPods from your dirty pocket lint, but also just protected in general. So if you spent your whole piggy bank to afford these, I wouldn't blame you for wanting to keep them as safe as possible. Next up in the front pocket is always the phone, which we don't care as much for than we do for the Grip Case V2 from Dbrand with their orange skin finish around back. This is their second attempt at a case, which I think they've got it right this time, all thanks to the customizable color options around back. But as a case, the buttons are textured and very clicky, coverage for the whole camera around back for some good table loving. And what sets the case apart are these race car stripes along the side, which if the name hasn't given it away already for added grip it's sort of mushy you can definitely feel them there and actually helps when compared to the smooth and slippery finish of the actual phone they're able to add all this texture without it looking like a giant eraser the sides have been lowered as well for easier handling especially for smaller hands while keeping the top and bottom raised for when you have an urge to do this although the case isn't designed to be tough with no impact features inside it can take day-to-day -day abuse just fine thanks to the thicker rubber edges and finally the best part the skin is swappable as well meaning if you're tired of celebrating Halloween in March, as tough as the skin does stick on, it comes off clean and you've got a wide range of colors and textures to choose from. If you want to stay super minimal and just give your phone a matte finish, even I surprised myself with how precise and clean this came out, along with how well it prevents fraying on the edges. A skin is the slimmest case you can own, and although I'd personally go with the matte black, this right here, I can get why Carl Conrad loves it so much. Let's take a breather from all this smacking around to talk about our sponsor today, Squarespace. If you've ever had that itch to build your own website, whether to bring that crazy idea to life or just to promote yourself, then you know how difficult it can be if you don't know anything about design or coding. That's where Squarespace comes in with their all-in-one platform to build fancy looking websites, online stores, or sweet looking portfolios. They've got a range of tools built in and ready to go like their SEO to help others find you, appointment scheduling so customers can view your availability for classes you're hosting, and email campaigns, analytics, and a whole e-commerce setup. And you can even claim your own URL directly directly on Squarespace so you can start and continue to run your whole business smoothly. So if you are interested, head over to Squarespace for a free trial and when you're ready to go live, use my link to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Anyways, back to the orange. Now on the wrist, Apple Watch obviously, but we're checking out the UAG active watch strap attached to it. The black and orange combo with a hint of red, it's got an industrial vibe to it thanks to the all nylon design. And with all that Velcro, you probably want to avoid taking this on and off in a quiet room. Metal matte black hardware gives this a durable feel, but also feels like an actual piece of machinery. Plus you don't have to be self-conscious about your thick wrists as the Velcro will allow you to adjust exactly where it's comfortable for you, no matter how thin or thick boned you are. The combination of solid matte black hardware and the bright orange means you don't have to worry about this breaking down over time and when combined with that deep brand skin oh boy 
I think I just peed myself. Moving up top to the sling bag, this isn't cheap, but you know the Asian in me only bought it because it was on sale. Although it's called the Adidas Y3 Packable Backpack, it starts off as a sling bag made of a fairly thin and soft nylon-like material with a coveted Y3 logo plastered on the front side. The bag itself is lightweight, utilizing a simple black nylon strap and a fairly plain large plastic buckle. Due to the soft material choice, it does sort of just sag and look a little tired, but if that's your fetish, no judgment here. Checking out the first outer quick access pocket, it's not the widest, but spacious enough for some PG-related daily essentials like this whoosh screen cleaner. Fun fact, they use this magic potion in Apple stores to clean off your children's dirty fingers prints off their iPad displays. The best part, after giving your screen a wipe down, it leaves a temporary layer of protection against fingerprints, which if your hands are always as dirty as mine, is worth it alone for this fancy soap water. Their mini bottle is tiny enough to carry in any pocket and clean any screen, but because you never know when you have to share that meme with Chad, your coworker, who thinks he's too cool to wash his hands after doing the doo-doo, it's available in many sizes too. So if Chad does come by your desk a lot, you may want to use this on everything he touches. This next one is for those who brave the Canadian winters. You'll understand the need for some O'Keefe's Lip Repair Lip Balm because you all love commenting on how broken my fingers look. O'Keefe's has been a huge lifesaver and now they can do the same for your lips and that perfect duck face selfie if that's still a thing. Next is the cutest pad of sticky notes you'll ever use, the Kikerland Writer's Block Sticky Notes Matchbox and color matched with a very familiar looking pen. This one's just fun, a tiny matchbox of sticky notes so you can draw some Picassos and leave it for your crush to find. Look, it's not super practical, they don't always rip perfectly, but the stiff cover does make it easier to keep it in your pocket for a angry parking message or a fun impromptu love note. Now the bullet pen is in the Write in the Rain signature orange, it writes smooth, feels comfortable to hold thanks to the cap doubling its size, but also stores away into a package about the size of my finger. It's just a tough pen that can handle anything you throw at it. That's the front pocket though, quite a few knickknacks, but for larger items, there's the main pocket. There's plenty of space to fit my whole hand in and then some. And that's where I store my Air Deck 2.0, a whole set of 52 playing cards at half the size. Made of a durable PVC with a matte finish, these are waterproof, which means you can easily wash off your sweaty hands from those intense Go Fish tournaments. When compared to a regular regular car, that's where you see the difference. It's literally half the size, but you'd be surprised how easy it is to still handle them when shuffling or dealing, and even easier now when holding a handful of cards. When stored away, it takes up less space than a pack of gum, and it's just as light. Another one from Right in the Rain, their pocket notebook with a soft cover for more serious note taking and diary entries. Combine that with a bullet pen, you can go completely old school and brain dump your billion dollar ideas. It doesn't end there though. Thanks to the weatherproof paper and the spoiler in the name, you can actually write in the rain with this combo. So don't let the weather stop you from expressing your love for noses or cactuses? Maybe a balloon sword? Anyways, with over 100 pages to work with, combine that with a flexible but durable front cover, this notebook can handle being tossed around and whatever mother nature throws at it, which is sadly more than I can deal with. Next, this lighter by Theorem isn't actually a lighter itself. It's their Pyrovolt armor case, because the actual lighter inside can be swapped for others, but the case is designed to be weatherproof and as tough as nails too, which is starting to seem like the theme of this whole video. It's quite a fun lighter though. Thanks to the spring-loaded cap, it can be managed one-handed, and don't worry, although it's made of plastic and may look like a toy, it locks firmly in place. Plus, the O-ring seal is designed to keep whatever lighter you have inside dry, no matter how wet you get, because the last thing you want when you're trying to battle a rainstorm is a non-functioning wet lighter. Now this lighter itself is special too. This is the Z Plus torch that runs off butane and creates a wicked flame. But if that's not enough, this is the 2.0 Extreme Torch, which just describes its dual flames. And of course, you can go with a classic Zippo flame as well. But the downside of the case with the Zippo is that it does make it uncomfortable to light, although not impossible. In the end though, it doesn't matter what your preference is, the case will keep it protected and dry. Personally, I like to go all out with the dual torch, but that's just me. Finally, the multi-tool of choice is from SOL, which I thought stood for shit out of luck, but actually stands for survive outdoors longer, a much more comforting name. This is their Phoenix multi-tool, very much designed for the outdoors, but does have some practical uses on the daily too, mainly thanks to the built-in LED flashlight. It's not the brightest sunshine you'll see, but good enough for its size. My favorite is the detachable mini knife, a fixed blade with a serrated end, flathead, bottle opener, and even a wrench insert. It's small, but comfortable to hold and does the job when battling Amazon Prime boxes. Now the fold-out striker is where this comes in handy outdoors to start a fire. I don't recommend you try this indoors, but combined with the blade, this 
this can get you started in the wilderness. And if all else fails, you can use the built-in whistle to sing a song or something. The casing is made of some tough plastic and even has a supposedly water-sealed tinder compartment, but in my scientific protein bottle test, that wasn't exactly the case for my model, as the tinder feels wetter than my back hair on a hot summer day. Other than that though, this packs just enough tools for your daily needs. Lastly, in the main pocket, not an actual product, but this was perfect for the video, my impromptu Nike wallet is this mini gift shoebox they use to store gift cards, but subsequently works perfectly to store more than enough points cards, cash, and other daily essentials, if you know what I mean. This iconic orange box that fits in the palm of your hands will give you all the clout when you pull it out while you wait in the rain in line for the next Supreme Drop. Plus, it's free. How's that for budget EDC? Now that's all the gear, but the bag doesn't end there. There's a zipper pocket along the backside for flatter items like extra cards, passport, or cash, and as the name suggests, a full-on backpack stored inside this lid. Unzip to reveal, and wha-bam! A whole extra section of space, now with complimentary shoulder straps to carry it, plus it doesn't compromise the other pockets you originally had as well. Look, it won't be the comfiest bag as it barely has any back support and the shoulder straps are thinner than my receding hairline, but it's great for storing lighter items like a sweater so you're not holding it like a chump. It's got a simple look to it, almost like an upgraded string bag, and the sling strap now doubles as a waist strap as well. Honestly, it's not bad for tripling the amount of space you had, plus when you're done, just stuff it back into its own pocket and you're back to standing out as the brightest kid in the room. Like, visually, not intellectually. Let me know in the comments what your favorite color is and it may end up being the next video's theme i rest my oranges no well, well. <coughs>